Hello, my name is Patrick Teal and I am Malaysian. Wait a minute. Am I really Malaysian? For the past few years, I'm actually not really sure. Now, the title of this series of talks is Aku Malaysia. Literally, that means I am Malaysia. Now, like many of us, for most of my life, I have felt that I am Malaysian. I was born here, I grew up here, and will probably die here. This is my country. I am part of a nation that I helped to build. So, that makes me Malaysian, right? But am I really? These days, I'm not so sure. For more than a few years now, I have been consistently told that I am merely a visitor, or at best, an immigrant granted citizenship out of the generosity of the majority who claim that this is their country. And this despite the fact that I have worked hard to contribute to nation building alongside the majority race. You know, for a period of time, I see friends and family members leave for greener pastures outside the country. Yet, I have stayed because I believed. I believe that I have every right to be here, just as all my other fellow Malaysians. For many years, I told myself, this is my country too, so I must stay and fight or do my best. But these days, sadly, I ask myself, should I have followed my friends and left? What kind of country will my children and grandchildren inherit? You know, a few years ago, when my eldest daughter was offered citizenship in a neighboring country, she asked my advice. Of course, being a father and being a Malaysian, my initial reaction was to say, no, you can't go and become a citizen of another country. This is our country. We must stay. But when I thought about it for a moment, I was at a loss. What was I going to say to her? If she asked me, Dad, why should I stay? What reasons would I give her to ask her to risk her future in a country that doesn't regard her as a citizen? Another daughter left for Australia a few years ago too, and I also had nothing to say to her, much less convince her to stay. They both miss their home country very much, but they're both happy where they are. So when the NEP was introduced, I was a keen supporter of the new economic policy, as I believed that our country's wealth and success must be shared. And I was not alone back in those days. And among all the citizens, Malay Bumiputra were the poorest. So obviously, they needed the most help. And I was happy to do my bit for my fellow Malaysians. Unfortunately, after so many years, I have seen with my own eyes that this was being abused repeatedly. I mean the NEP. And used to divide our society. And over the years, the NEP privileges have become unquestionable rights to some of the recipients. You know, I was just 10 years old when we attained independence and I heard the Tunku's victorious cries of Merdeka from the Merdeka Stadium in Kuala Lumpur. I was 17 when Singapore, Sabah and Sarawak joined us to form the Federation of Malaysia. I was 34 when Mahathir began his 22-year reign as Prime Minister of this country. <laughs> So you could say that I am one of those Malaysians 
who have dreamed of the Malaysia we would have loved, worked for the Malaysia that we wanted, and sadly, seen the Malaysia we have become today. And now, at age 74, it breaks my heart to watch my country in the state it is. After 64 years of independence, we are settled with a government we did not elect. A government that has failed in its most basic functions, failed to take care of its people, failed to take care of their livelihood, failed to take care of their future. And it has taken something like the COVID-19 pandemic to show us that this government that we had thrusted upon us by illegal means has failed in their most basic functions of state to take care of us. While Malaysians are dying, these supposed leaders are playing political games and plundering our country's resources. And in the process are showing Malaysians and the world that they are just selfish and unqualified to lead. But it has also taken something like the coronavirus to show us that we are Malaysians true and true, and we take care of each other. Despite what the politicians tell us, that they, we are different, we are different race, we are different religion, we are different cultures, we are actually not different. We are all Malaysians. We all want the same things in life. And as this pandemic has proven, we will help each other in times of need. Since the pandemic hit, I have seen Malaysians come together and help each other to survive a very tough time. I see people willing to cook to feed people they don't even know. And I'm sure you have all seen people come together trying to help those that are less fortunate. We did this despite the politicians trying to divide us with their cheap theatrics. Malaysia, as a multiracial, multi-religious country, must have sustained efforts to bring the different races and religions together. I have often been asked, what can I do? What can I propose to nurture a new culture of respect for all that is inclusive as Malaysians? Maybe I'm just a simple guy, but to me, I've always believed that all Malaysians are inclusive, support each other, and will pull together for the common good. If there are no politicians or politics to divide us. It's as simple as that. Leave us alone and we can and will look after ourselves. Without you and your divisive policies and statements, we are all Malaysians. This is our country, and we will protect and nurture it for all. And one more thing. This pandemic has shown me one hope for our country, and that is the young people of Malaysia are coming out and making their voices heard. They're coming out, speaking up, to take things in their own hands. And that's one thing the virus has also killed, is the old youthful apathy, may I call it, of, ah yeah, not interested in politics lah. The youth of today no longer say that, I think. And in them is our hope for the future. Malaysia must be managed by the younger generation. And now, if you ask me, in spite of everything that's going on, am I hopeful for Malaysia's future? I would say definitely yes. I am hopeful because we have a whole new generation of young, energetic, talented people coming up now to take charge. And when that happens, we will come out of this phase as we have always done. We have always survived other calamities because we are all Malaysians. Thank you.